Hey tribe, welcome to the tutorials for the iconic granny square bag pattern. Now these tutorials have been recorded in four separate parts so that you can quickly find out what you need to know and get back to your making. Each tutorial is designed to be a companion to the pattern, it's not intended to be a complete tutorial and so you will need to get a copy of the pattern for yourself. You can do that by clicking the link in the description box below and I've also linked everything down below from the yarn and the hardware that I have used. Add it up. Okay, so now we need to put the lock onto the bag. I have provided a link for this lock in my pattern so that you can get the same one or if not similar. Now this one has the prongs on the back and you close it by putting the barrel through the pin through the barrel. So I'm going to show you how we put this onto our granny square panels and secure it and the order that we need to do it in so that it, we get a really nice finish. Now you're going to need the lock itself and you're also going to need the correct screwdriver bit which I have got in this screwdriver set. I got this set from um, like a local hardware store and it didn't cost a lot at all. And you just need it to be a positive so that you can remove these screws. So let's look at the anatomy of this lock. This goes on the top flap which I've got here and it's going to be secured on like so. What you do is you take off that and we're going to attach it on. And then this goes on the actual front piece of the bag. Now, it's really important that the front piece hasn't been attached to its reinforcement panel at this point. And that's because I want to put this on and then I want to hide all of this behind the reinforcement panel. You can put it through the reinforcement panel if you want to, it's just entirely up to you and how you want the finish. So I'm going to attach it with this bit at the bottom. Now you may notice that this can also twist as well. Um, so you can attach it in this way and then you can twist that and then put the barrel through. But I'm going to make sure that this chunky section is at the bottom. It needs to be installed in the third square in on the bottom row. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straighten these up again. I'm going to pick up the panel and I'm going to put it through evenly. So each of these prongs are going to go through the corner of the grey round. So through the, the corner of your second round. So I'm going to put that one in and then this one. This one. And then this one. Now I'm just going to turn it around. Push it all down. And then these are your washers. They're like a grip. And I'm just going to put them through like so and then I'm going to bend the prongs down. It's really simple to do and easy to do with your thumbs. I'm just going to do the same with this one, that one to the second and this one onto the first. I totally forgot to tell you to put the barrel on the lock. So what I've done is I've had to come back and cut through here. But obviously I've told you before so you won't have to do all this faffing. But you can see that my lock has pushed through. I've took the washer off on the bottom barrel and then I've fed the pin through in this corner. I'm just going to put this washer back on. Like so. And then I'm going to squish it down again. So before you sew the back on, secure your barrel. Because <laughs> now I've got to restitch that. Come on! Just 
just going to give it a really good squash to make it as flat as possible. Then when I turn it around, you can see that the lock has now been installed and that is pretty well solid. Now you can add some tape to the back of this if you really wanted to, um, such as some duct tape or whatnot, but I'm just going to leave it as it is because I don't have any. So now this panel is ready to be attached to its reinforcement panel, which I've got here. So you would simply bulldog clip it in place and then whip stitch your way around as I've already shown you. And then for the top of the lock, you go now you just need to decide which way around you want the lock to go. I have decided to do it this way around just because I prefer the way it looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our screwdriver bit. Normally you'd put this in the screwdriver but I'm happy working with it like this. I'm just gonna take my screws out and be really careful because they're so tiny. They're really easy to misplace or lose. So then the plate comes off like so, put the screws through, I'm going to flip it around so that the edges of the lock line up here, which is where the corner points of the lock went through on the layer below. So as I've said, I have already sewn my whole way around, along and I've just left a little gap here and that's because that's where I'm going to join the lock. What I've done is I've pushed the lock through like so, so that you can see the screw plate, screw holes. And then I am going to put on the plate like this. And then I'm going to screw the holes in. But you want to make sure that your lock is nicely lined up and that you push the screw holes through the stitches like so. Put the plate on top and then screw through and as you can see I've lined that up really nicely so that it's central. Okay so I've now attached that on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my needle and thread and just close up this as much as possible just so that that's held down and anchored and given it as much um, reinforcement as possible and then like I said you need to sew this granny panel onto the reinforcement panel which then means that when you have attached them all you're going to have the side of your bag done like so.